Hello guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the love and support on the Ark series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. You can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I'm glad y'all like the new thumbnails, guys. I really, really, I, I was just thinking about it one day and I was like, man, I think I'm going to try this new YouTube gaming layout, you know, to try to, to optimize it better. And uh, I just thought about that cutout and it seemed to work out well. So I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I'm on my spino because I was looking for a high level dodicarus around the mountains uh, with my bird speedykins or my, my pterodon speedykins and I happened to find an alpha corno. I don't know what level it is but I saw it around here. It was a little bit over there. Ah, I think I see the red mist over there. Yep, if you could see it out of the far center of the screen right between those two spines there you should see it. Let's go see what it looks like here. Let me get out of K mode. And I am on Earth. Well, no, I'm not on Earth 2. I lie. I am on Artemis. And I wanted to make sure that, like, he's not the strongest as far as melee and stuff, but his hit points are really high and his speed's high. So let's see what level this guy is. Last time I fought one of these cornos, I got some real good stuff, so I didn't want you guys to miss out. I don't see it anymore. Where is it at? Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, let's see. Is it going to tell me what level it is? 16. Should be relatively easy kill. Let me see if I can give you guys a show here. It's funny that they don't attack Spinos. Nothing attacks Spinos except for T-Rexes. Alright, now that he's mad, let's do it. He's only level 16, so this should be really, really easy for Artemis. Kill! 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 Looks like our health is doing just fine. Come on, baby. Come back up here. Fight me like a man. See, my damage is almost close to 600%, I believe. It's not real crazy. It's not like uh, Guamahavi or anything. There we go. Rex Bone Helmet. I have some levels to apply now. Let's see. Naturally, we're going to keep moving up in speed. That was quite a bit of, of, of XP there. Let's see what we got from him now. Ouch. Um, this is crazy. An apprentice chitin chest piece. Uh, not that I know what we would use that for, but I'll take it anyway. Another journeyman crossbow. Wow, weapon damage 192.4. Whoa! What a strong crossbow. I will take it. I keep hoping that I would find a masterwork one. Apprentice metal hatchet. Weapon damage is 125. I think ours is better than that. No, that one's actually better. Really cool. An apprentice metal pick. 134.5 versus 126. Oh, man. Oh, you are spoiling me, game. Oh, man. Those are epic, epic, epic drops. Okay. So here's the plan here. I don't think we'll be able to do it. But if I harvest all of this, because I'm about to get a lot of prime meat, and we are... Let's take a look at the map here. We are south of my house, so I don't think I'll be able to get there in time to cook it all in my industrial oven, but I will try. Let's go ahead and eat it. 80 prime. All right, let's go back to the house. All right, guys, I just made it back to the house. Going to grab a can of gas right quick, and hopefully this baby will be set up. Gonna keep it on Artemis as long as possible. I did an extension out the back. I'll show y'all that in just a minute. Let's put the gas in and turn it on, and let's take all this prime meat out. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just start it clicking. What's the, the spawn time? It looks like about one minute for all of them. I wish there was a way to click this out faster. Man, I want all this prime meat. Okay, some more here. Alright, this is enough to make sure... It doesn't spoil. Uh, all right. We'll just start clicking away in here, too. Man, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all, but I'll be able to get a little bit of it. Hopefully, all of this... Oh, that's all I can put in? 
Okay. Oh, man. A lot of this stuff is going to spoil. Quick cook. Quickly. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We can start adding some more. Very good. All right. So preserving bins are made with what exactly? Let's see. They aren't hard to make. I know. Preserving bins. Looking at stone, wood, thatch, and fiber. I should actually have all of that. Stone, wood, thatch, and fiber. Stone, wood, thatch, and fiber. Good deal. And how many of these can we make? The preservation bins. I need to do a refrigerator eventually after I wire up the house. Which is what I'm going to be looking at doing today. I'm also going to probably stop in and get some work done with Maz. So let's see here. Nice. Um, so now that I have that, we can probably do a little bit more, honestly. Wood. That ought to do us just fine. Okay, with all those preserving bins, we can get a lot of this jerky salvaged. Which is what I'm hoping for. Okay, let's put all this away now. We have five preserving bins. We're going to need a little bit more spark powder, but we can just use that to distribute amongst it. So let's see. I hate to just put this anywhere, but being that these are going to be going away real soon, I might as well. Let's just put it on the side of the fabricator if we can. And all this is going to become prime meat jerky eventually, which is awesome. We'll make sure we're 50 all the way across. That way we don't have to worry about... I think it takes 5 oil per prime meat jerky. And we've got to get this wood out here if we're going to be making prime jerky. I mean this meat out here if we're going to be making prime jerky like that. Alright guys, it's been a whole day in real life since I put all of that stuff up. But... Ta-da! 69 prime meat jerky so really really cool stuff i actually put some regular meat to to go with the meat jerky too and worked on a little bit of kibble i've been saving up all of my dillo eggs and making some kibble and i actually used a little bit all of it already i helped out joe the pirate because he had one that was he was taming and i'm i think i'm the only one on the server with quite a few dillos i don't know maybe ormanage has one but uh, anyway, I ended up taming another one. <laughs> it's not real high level, but he's level 43 after I gave, well, she's level 43, and she was white. She was a pretty color, so I wanted her, and I'm going to work speed on her. I still want a male to do male boosted, so I'm going to take a look at that, uh, but today, what I wanted to continue to do is I want to look at the new stuff for the updates. Now, I know there's an automated primal, uh, wait, a primitive organic turret that's what it is and you need some specific seeds to do it now i want to go into the mountaintop i know i do actually have one of those seeds along with a, a couple of flowers already i went and looked for a long time and i found these but i'm going to show you guys where i can find where you can find them and also how to get the rare flowers too all right guys way up here on top of the mountain as you can see the north island is like I don't even know where it's at. There it is. Uh, there's a few mountains that have these, but you see these little red plants? Uh, let me get off of Speedykins and show you. They've been in the game for a long time, and they were always harvestable, but they never had any special deal, except that every once in a while up here, you would get those rare blue flowers. Now, these things are rare, as are the rare blue flowers. I've harvested probably over 100 plants, and I've only received one seed and two red flowers so far, um, which is the ones that I already showed you. But those are the ones you need. I would really like to get one more of the specimen seeds uh, to grow two of these things to have turrets, but um, I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. I'm going to pick for a little while longer and see if I could get lucky here. Got it. Oh, and I'm getting attacked. I hope you guys saw it. <laughs> like, what? What's attacking me? Oh. It sounded like a cat. Relax, 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 relax. So, I just got my second seed. Really, really cool. Um, <laughs> so, there's two. Now we need to go plant these suckers. I 
think that we probably need some large crop plots, which I already have set up for some of the uh, some of the forming stuff that I have. But I think I'm gonna set up two more. That's a little bit closer to my base gates. Uh, that way, if anything comes around, they'll be able to uh, <laughs> to, to kind of defend it. So I'm going to go back to base, guys, and plant these things. All right, you guys. So I decided I was going to place my form plots here. Now, I know that one's crooked, but that's just the way the ground is. But that's because that most of the Argentavis problem come from this neck of the woods here. And they just come out, and they kind of roam. And if I have the turrets here, then I'll probably be able to fend them off. Now... The problem with this is water collection. So I've got a couple things going on. I didn't want to run pipe all the way from the shoreline because that's going to look janky. Not that this will probably look a whole bunch better, but the only thing that worries me about this setup is the fact that the reservoirs don't hold too much. So what I'm going to do is I can probably put multiple reservoirs in here as well. But it's kind of weird how you have to place them. So let's start off with pipe. And you want to place pipe like right here. The tap will be close, and then you can place the reservoir to kind of attach to it, just like so. And then you can place a tap, like, attached to it right here. Now, this is going to show irrigated when there's water in here. Now, this can collect rainwater, which is a cool thing, but it only holds 200 water, so I might have to do more. I don't know how much water that these things are going to take. The farms can hold up to 600, so we can always like jump start them with our own water supply just from water skins and stuff and uh, we'll go from there and that's probably what I'm gonna do so let me set this one up which will probably be a lot prettier uh, let's see here so we'll set up that should place like that and then I should be able to place one here and oh not that the reservoir will go here Bam. All right. So now we're set up to collect rainwater in these things. I should be able to seed them as well and fertilize them, but I want to get, I want to go force feed one of my Fiomias to get ready for it. And then I'll force, I'll get some water too. So let's, let's see what we can do here. We do have two skins on us. There's some more skins inside. Let's do this right. So I have, let's get the skins out of my cooking pot because that's where I usually use them. That'll be a bunch of them, and that'll get us some water good enough to, like, fill up the forms, or at least get close to it. Okay, so we have the water. We're ready for that. Uh, let's see. I'm thinking that Manny probably has some stem berries. He does. And we can probably just go around collecting poop just like this, to tell you the truth. But it'll be easier with the Fiomia to stock these up. So let's grab one of them. And actually, it's ready to level up. We'll go ahead and give it some health. Nice. <laughs> All right. This one's the one that was stuck in the box the entire time. Oh, and now the health difference is so much it shows that she's hurt, poor thing. All right. So, we'll go ahead and start the fertilizing process. Uh, let's see here. There we go. <laughs> Before we even tried it out here. Uh, let's see. Where did I put those stem berries? Did I grab them? Oh, yeah. Here we go. A hundred of them. This should be able to do fine here. We'll use 50 and fill up. Well, we'll use 40, actually, and then fill up. Because we already had quite a bit that we had picked up from the dinos in the pen. There we go. And this will be a good start for fertilizer. Without actually getting into... There we go. And there's still a spot for the seed. Good. And then we'll do the same thing here. Oh, come here, babe. Let's go. More pooping. <laughs> come on. <laughs> can you <laughs> can you walk? What's going on? Ah, there we go. I was just gonna call her over. I know I'm dehydrated. All righty. There we go. Are you hungry? No, you have plenty of food. I mean, you need berries, don't get me wrong, but I have a little bit of berries you could eat. There we go. We'll get you some more berries, too. Okay. This should be enough fertilizer to get us through at least the beginning stages of this plant growing fiasco. There we go. And it all rolled down here. It's a poop train. 
right, I don't need you following anymore, babe. All right, so let's get these in there. All right, we could probably use one more, but that's okay. All right, let's get some water now. Oh, there is one more. Nice. Okay. So now we'll get a bunch of water, and we'll load that up as well. All right, we got our water. Let's go ahead and load up the reservoir and see how this works, because I've never actually messed with one of these. So it doesn't look like use water items... Remote use. Ah, you have to remote use the items. Very good. I can also, I might as well just use my canteen for it too. Oh, you can use that three times. Canteens are so good. All right. Now let's see how many we're going to have from here. So, the water holds zero because this is holding... Oh, that's going to be plenty. Because this will be 600 and then 200 more. That's perfect. All right, guys, it's raining. That's what I was hoping for. I'd love to see the way this water collection thing is going on. So, I was just getting some water, actually. All right, let's see here. So, right now, we're at 220. And this one is 10. All right, so 231. Ah, not bad. So, it's just collecting as we go. That's beautiful. I love that. Rain is so useful. <laughs> All right. Let's just fill this sucker up and we'll let probably the rain do the rest of the work while we worry about the plants. There we go. And remote use, remote use, remote use. And watch this. Seven. I'm going to eat a little bit too. Where are my meats? There we go. All right, let's see here. So it's 72 out of 200. This one is filled up. Oh, that's just going to fill up right on its own. Very, very nice. All right, so now that they're both full and both fertilized, we can go ahead and start dropping in the seeds. We're going to put one here. Ah, oh, there it is. Crop plant species X seedling. So it's going to take a little while for these to grow, uh, but I'm patient. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to see how they are. Okay, let's go ahead and put the other seedling in. We're going to have some turrets. We're going to have some turrets. All right, you guys, we are back. <laughs> and as you can see, Rumple Poopskins is on my back. It's been another whole day since my last recording because we had to wait until these turrets were done. Uh-oh. And... He lost interest. Hold on. I'm bringing a target so y'all can see how these things work. Uh-huh. Come on. You know you want some of this. Come on. Watch when I bring him by these turrets. You see the turrets up there? I'm leaving it kind of dark so y'all can get the full effect, guys. There's a little bit of sun. That's perfect. Look at this. Look. Isn't that crazy? Look at him just nailing it. <laughs> And that's actually affecting me too because I'm in the way, but it just annihilated that bird. So the same thing happens for other dinos and stuff like that too that roam in. It doesn't have to be in the air, but that was just like a, like a real-time simulation of what usually happens. Because Argents come out the woods just like this. You'll see them. They just come out the woods and they fly right over top and they start picking at my dinosaurs. So that's where the turrets come in now. I have noticed that a bunch of them have been coming over here as well. So I'm probably going to have to station one right here. But the setup is relatively easy using the... Uh Oh, and it's morning. Using the uh, the reservoirs and stuff. But take a look at these guys. Uh, Where is Rumple Poopskins? There she is. What are you doing up there in midair? I don't even know how that happened. But I don't know how we get you down either. <laughs> uh... That's kind of weird. Maybe I'm going to have to go buy you. Oh, man, this is going to stink. Anyway, let me show you all this turrets. I'll figure out how to get the monkey down. That's such a strange, such a strange bug. Well, anyway, these are the turrets. 
as you could see they're waving around like they're ready so there's a few different settings so the great thing about these is they don't need bullets naturally all you need to do is make sure that they're fertilized and they're watered uh, the status is fruit link and before that they were a growth link and then they were a seedling so they kind of look like this at the growth link stage too except they weren't awake like they are now and and you couldn't interact with them except for demolishing them but now you can put them to sleep which stops the um, the tentacle from moving it around, and naturally it doesn't attack anything. You can wake it up, and it starts moving again. You can change it to what type of range that it's going to attack things at, and the type of target. So just like the regular automated turret that uses bullets, changing target players to tamed creatures only, players only, are all targets and that's what i currently have them at and as y'all just saw they they're they waste birds guys they're amazing and the the fact that they just shoot those colored balls it's it's kind of psychedelic i love it anyway this is the reservoir that we're using for them so this little setup right here basically a pipe a tap and a reservoir and i don't even know if you need the tap but i think the tap's important for um keeping the irrigated status anyway that's a, a relatively easy setup for this being that you need a large crop plot i think that's the most expensive thing and naturally the seeds are kind of hard to get but once you get up to a mountain it's all good so i think that's amazing man i think it's really amazing i do have a couple things to show you before the episode is over except that man i really wish i can get my monkey down from there let's see and apparently rumple poopskins <laughs> was just teleported from there to here when i logged out and logged back in there seems to be some sort of visual glitch with them because it's not the first time they've disappeared or if they've done some weird stuff like that uh but until they fix that i'm really really scared to let her out of my sight so i'm gonna put her back on my bookshelf hold on get back on the bookshelf rumple <laughs> i can't believe i'm not gonna be able to get her on there there you go and stay okay <laughs> it's kind of working out in the corner anyway you have to log back and log you have to log out and log back in um in order to unglitch them if that happens to you but i did want to show you something right before i left yes i found a blue one and i know i think i showed you all my albino already that i haven't named but i named my my blue and blue balls because that's that's what it is she she turns into a ball and she's blue so it's perfect and naturally i have to z in there so you know it's i don't know i thought it was cute anyway um <laughs> so i it still don't have any mate boosted and I, I i played around with her i brought her to the north island and did a little bit of attacking and um, she is relatively slow, but she hits hard. Here's her stats. She's got 4760 health, which I could raise. Movement speed, which I have been pumping. 264 movement speed. I want her to be really fast. Her melee's already 414. She's slow, but she hits like a truck. And she gets 150 stone per rock that she hits. A ton of food. A ton of oxygen and stamina, too. She can swim across all the way, clear across to the island. I've done it, and um, it's pretty cool. But she can't fight too well over there just because she's so slow. Anyway, I am going to try to level her, her up. And I think as soon as I get the mate boosted, I'll build them maybe a pin or something so they can get rocks. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll let her roam around because they seem to survive pretty well on their own. But... Then again, <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I guess, uh, I guess now that I have two, three of them, I could probably just keep one for sure safe. And the other two I can let roam around the beach for rocks. I'm not too sure. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. And um, we'll see you next time. If you did like the video, don't forget to hit that like button for me to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.